What's going on my YouTube people? My name is Tim and welcome back to the channel. On this episode, we're going to do a PMC adapter install, how to make your LS swap a breeze. These LS adapters are designed to simplify the process of adapting your LS motor to your current transmission, making the process so much simpler without modifications. This is the flywheel that comes with the PMC adapter. It's got this crazy shape to it and it is a unit. This is the other component for the swap from that comes with the PMC adapter. The only difference with running the PMC adapter is that we have to run an automatic flex plate from an LS. So this is two pieces. One goes to the transmission side, one goes to the motor side and it allows you to run the current transmission and the LS motor without having to customize the bell housing or uh, run a T56. Uh, with our current setup, the ZF5 should hold a decent amount of power. I've seen similar setups that run this specific combination and it does well in drifting scenarios. Using this adapter is a huge time saver compared to having to modify or fabricate a new transmission bell housing. With a PMC adapter, you can get your LS swap up and running quickly and easily without any headaches or complications. Trust me, this is going to be worth it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually replace the existing oil galley barbell with this one from Improved Racing. We kind of talked about it before. We're going to get rid of that plastic one and put this billet. It's like a double gasketed billet. Oil diverter, see that that's what diverts the oil. Oil galley barbell, whatever you want to call it. This is what it is. And we're gonna take this one out here and this is a pretty simple process. So we go ahead and we have to drill out this one, drill a little tiny hole into this one. I definitely wanna to go too deep. Let me see if this will work. If not, I'll go a little farther. Then we're gonna take a little screw and I'm gonna screw it in there. And hopefully this thing will just come right out. I really wanted like a self-tapping screw, but this'll do. This'll do. Nope, oh, it's starting to spin. And then we should just be able to pull it out. Okay, I overestimated my our strength. <laughs> now we should just be able to pull this one out. Pretty simple if it has enough hook oh, into it. Oh! So we're replacing this nasty junk. This little, yeah. I'm so glad that we're replacing this. This is plastic. It is brittle. It can cause a bunch of issues. Just like all of this shavings, this plastic shavings that just went to our oil pan. Dumbass. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil on this just to give it some lubrication. These are gaskets. Let's clean this little hole up. Push her in. And then this one actually comes with a little screw in the back so you can replace it the next time. Make sure she's flush, she's flush. Take this one, toss it away. I just pinched my arm. <laughs> All right. Some Permatex RTV.
I'm so afraid to be doing this. The rear cover is 22 foot pounds, huh? I'm sweat bullets. I'm gonna fucking pop one of these things. All right, we're torqued down. Time to torque the oil pan and then we can start working on the PMC adapter. Okay, now we're ready to move on to the adapter. This adapter is pretty much self-explanatory. We have these two pieces here. We have our adapter flywheel there and an automatic LS thing. So first, let's disconnect this. I'm going to show you. These are two pieces. One is for your transmission side here. We'll put that to a side. And one is for your motor side. Let's get this on there. So this is our LS side and it goes on the back of the block. Oops. These little dowel pins on the left and the right of the motor just slide in like this. That easy. The most simple way to LS swap your car and use the same transmission get one of these adapters super simple i'm gonna get this all bolted down they use these pretty crazy bolts here pretty simple stuff here just for reference i'll show you how they kind of stack up in there it's wild even the oil pan like this is pretty good right down to the oil pan. So it basically takes an automatic uh, flywheel, you put it in there, and this is basically just gonna be for our uh, starter. This big old honky piece goes on just like this, and it sits just like that, which is crazy. Then we put our clutch and everything on there. Wild. I'm literally creating magic here, guys. It's such a good feeling. When it, something comes together, it's going to be even a better feeling when we can drive the shit out of this thing. Hello, sir. We should be pretty darn close. I don't think this has to go in any certain direction. Well, I hope not. Anyways. All right, let's get this tightened down and then we can possibly put the transmission side on. Hey, making progress. Look how cool that is. All right, we're gonna move on to the transmission side. This is the transmission side and it has all these markings on it. This is for the M series for the BMWs. We just need to make sure that we put it on the transmission the right way. If we do that, we'd probably be okay. So M57 goes top. I already put the dowels in. That keeps everything nice and tight when it has the dowels in there because we're stacking all this stuff together. And just like that, it's bolted down to the transmission. It took some finagling to figure out which bolts went where, but after you kind of evaluated it, there's only they only could go certain areas. Because this is a universal kit and it could probably house a lot of other different transmissions just besides the ZF5 and the Getrag. It has all these other different bolt patterns. So I just have to replace the pivot pin inside of here and I'm gonna reuse the, the old fork and then we can get the transmission in here. Probably could use another one of these, but here's a wearable item. 
I think we're just gonna pack it full of grease. I've been dying to get into this. What we have is, I went with an ACT version of their, this is for like a 323i. I got it both from, I got both of these from Drift HQ. This one is an extreme pressure plate. The part number is B015X, and this is their extreme version. This is a sprung disc. Again, this is the B05X, B015X, and I'm gonna run it on this. This is an extreme pressure plate. Let's put the clutch in. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Ooh, ooh, pretty. Pretty straightforward. You line the holes up. Uh, hello? No. This is not the right one. No. It's too big. It fits the teeth, but not the hole. Bro. We are not doing this today, are we? Oh, uh, now what? Let me give you a rundown of events. Because yesterday, went smoothly most of the way, except when I was going to align the clutch. When I was going to align the clutch, didn't come with a clutch alignment tool. Cool, no problem. Went to grab another clutch alignment tool, not the right clutch alignment tool, too many splines. Went to the auto parts store, went to two different auto parts store. Clutch alignment tool, has the right splines, not the right pilot bearing size. So, the next day, I have this crazy contraption and it's like, well, it's not, I wouldn't say crazy, but you actually can adapt the pilot tool. You put this in there and you should be able to align it. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna align this clutch so I can put this transmission on here and uh, yeah, hopefully get into the car. So basically the way that this works is I have this rod and then I have this little piece right here and this snugs up to the actual disc and you don't need See, this goes into the pilot, and this goes into that disc, but now I have to loosen the pressure plate so I can align it. Because before, I tried to use, um, I tried to use a couple different methods, I just wasn't comfortable the way that it was. Can. All right, we're torquing this down. This is 26 pounds. They say we can go up to like 30, so. do something and think like you're not done but in reality you are done that's where we're at the clutch is on the pivot pins on the clutch fork um, everything's together here I re-greased the throwout bearing um, put it back in there cleaned it up uh, the new pivot pin that came with the kit is in there um, there we go so this is all together. Honestly, there's only one step left. 
make these two one. I don't know how I'm going to do this by myself. But what I do know is that I might throw the tail end of it on this chair and I'll play with the front end, wiggle her on there, hopefully get a bolt or two. This is probably going to be the most complicated process because, uh, yeah, we don't have a transmission jack. Just me. This is going to be crappy. I'm going to take a, a drink of my energy drink. Oh, boy. Maybe we can just jack up the back end. And then I only have to pick it up just a little bit. Ah, oh, fuck. It's one of my kidneys. It's going to suck either way. it by that. Like it wants to go, but yeah, it doesn't want to go. Oh, fuck, man. And then I had to line these pins too. Boys, never do this solo. Solo dolo, not it. I don't recommend doing this by yourself, putting the transmission, but I did it. It's done. It's zipped up. I still have to torque all of these. <coughs> but the PMC adapter made this so much easier. ACT clutch, PMC adapter, ZF transmission, high compression iron block, LS1 ready for all the boost. Now, I just have to put this bad boy into that bad boy. I gotta adjust the BCs, install the motor mounts into the chassis side, because I have to undo some of this part of the SLR kit, and I already torqued those down, which was a bitch already. So, let me get these in there. Transmission should go right in and fall in. Yeah, yeah, Roadhouse. If you like today's video, go ahead and subscribe. If you haven't already, if you like today's video, go ahead and comment, subscribe, tell your friends, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.